The Pacers have reached the back stretch, and they are underway in the battle of the Brandywine. Artspeak on the far outside leaves well. Yankee Bounty also coming up now. Wakazashi Hanover in between those two, but it's Artspeak to the front. Wakazashi Hanover second past the eighth mile marker. Then Yankee Bounty. Wiggle it, jiggle it away fourth. Two more back there to Dudes the Man. Then My Hero Ron six, followed by Cooperstown. A gap to Delta winner and split the house at the back. It's a blistering pace to the quarter of 25 and four. And Artspeak, the one laying it down early for Scott Zeron. He's sending him. He's got the lead by a length. Pocket seat for Wakazashi. Hanover Tietrich has been unconscious tonight. Pace slows considerably now, but wiggle it, jiggle it, not having that. The 1-5 to five favorite comes charging up at Art Speak. In behind that cover, Dudes the man second over. Yankee Bounty on the inside fifth. Cooperstown now joins the outer flow. Then it's My Hero Run. Delta winner eighth and the trailer split the house. The half 54-4. and four. 29 even second panel. Zero was able to slow it down, but not anymore because Art Speak is dealing with Wiggle It, Jiggle It right up alongside just about even. In the pocket still there is Wakazashi Hanover. Dude's the man second over in striking position, looking to spin off the cover. Third over Cooperstown is showing pace. Yankee Bounty wants to get out. Jingra looking for room. And now Wiggle It, Jiggle It clears for the lead. Three quarters, 121 and 126 and 2 on the back. Wiggle It, Jiggle It takes the lead away from Art Speak and tries to separate from Dudes the Man. He's out by about two around the turn to the top of the stretch. Wiggle it, jiggle it. Still going strong. He's out now by three as Dudes the Man couldn't hang with him. On the inside, some pace from Wakazashi Hanover, but wiggle it, jiggle it. Dominant tonight. Wiggle it, jiggle it by three lengths to win the Brandywine. Wakazashi Hanover second. Dudes the Man third. Art Speak fourth. And wiggle it, jiggle it. Matches a world record for sophomore geldings of 148 flat. That's how you win a huge stakes race. Well, there have been uh, two little stumbles for Wiggle It, Jiggle It, but other than that, a season for the ages for this three-year-old, and he adds another exclamation point to this sentence in 2015 by dominating the Battle of Brandywine. First over, it wasn't easy to get past Art Speak. Once he does, he opens up from the rest and wins uh, by several lengths. Judges have posted the unofficial order of finish for tonight's 12th race. Number one, Wiggle It, Jiggle It finished first. Number seven, Wakazashi Hanover finished second. Number two, Dudes the Man finished third. Number eight, Art Speak finished fourth. Unofficially one, seven, two, eight in race number 12. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, presenting the uh, trophy for this 12th race for the Battle of the Brandywine is uh, Bobby Soper, uh, b President and CEO of the Mohegan Tribal Gaming Authority, along with his wife Jackie in the, winter, in the Hanover Shoe Farms Winner's Circle. And moving into the Hanover Shoe Farms winner circle, unofficial winner of tonight's 12th race, the Battle of the Brandywine, the one Wiggle It, Jiggle It, a three-year-old Bay Colt by Mr. Wiggles out of Mozzie Hanover by Jenna's Beach Boy, bred by Bernstein of Florida, Bantle and Felter and Tancredi of New York, owned by George Teague Jr. and Corey.